No. I was like, did you see my TikToks? No. One little bastard jumps up and goes, we play your video game. And I was like, what? He goes, you're Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> then I ordered an Uber. The guy shows up. He rolls down his window and says to me, I can't take you. I was like, why not? He said, I forgot the car seat. I know, right? But don't worry. He put me in the glove box. Then, but I do have some amazing news for you all here at the cutting room tonight. I got a call from ABC TV and they want to be your next bachelor. Thank you, thank you, yes. They said to tune in this fall on Nickelodeon. Come on guys, wake up, all right? Imagine me, your next bachelor, a half-stacked man with the kind of voice a tranny would kill for. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Speaking of voices, everywhere I go, they call me ma'am. Ma'am, hey ma'am, excuse me ma'am. Oh my God, it's so annoying. I was in Vegas, and the pit boss goes, ma'am, hey ma'am, you forgot your purse. I said, fuck you, keep it. Yeah, but don't worry guys, because this has been happening my whole life. When I was born, the doctor said to my father, Congratulations, Mr. Bosco. You have a beautiful three-pound baby girl. Yes. I, the nurse nudged him and said, It's a boy. I guess he didn't see my big boy show. Okay, dick for the amount of time. Gabish? All right. Philip Morris, the tobacco company. They also reached out to me and said if they could use my photo on packages of cigarettes. I was like, wow, I'm your new Marlboro man. Yeah, let's not all get excited at once back there in the cutting room. I read the slogan, this is the reason why your baby's born like this. Yo, shit, I'm going to tell you what happened, oh shit. I'm this way because my cheating mother got an obstetrician with a Groupon. <laughs> oh yeah, you laugh, huh? I say thank God she didn't fuck the seven dwarfs. When people ask me, who's your daddy? I say M-I-C. Okay, good. <laughs> thank you. I do got to say tonight, we got a lot of beautiful ladies in the house. Right, sweetie pie? I, I, the other night, I took out this broad, right? This girl, this tall, beautiful, blonde. She's right here. I not only ordered one, I ordered two Happy Meals. Yeah, she wasn't too happy. I even gave her my toy. Right, babe? You got it. Yes. I mean, I, what am I going to do, that bitch that she is? Who gets frustrated here? Yeah, right? You guys get frustrated. I asked Siri to talk dirty to me. You know, she replied. She said, I'm a good girl, but go ask my sister Alexa. She's the hoe in the family. So from now on, it's strictly Alexa. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I went out to eat the other night, and this dumb waiter, this bacala, brings me someone else's glass of champagne. What would you guys do? Drink it, right? I drank it. But guess what, guys? There was an engagement ring in it. Yes, now this poor bastard has to wait four days to get engaged. <laughs> You know, I got a lot of friends that compare their straight job to me doing comedy. They think all I gotta do is come up here for 10 minutes.
minutes and that's it? Bullshit. Because number one, you got to be born like this. Number two, you got to go out there and do something stupid. And number three, you got to get the balls to come up here and do the stupid job for you guys. Every night, the asshole. Airports, I hate airports. 